live in a time when Islam is impacting Western culture like never before, but what do we really know about it? Carolyn sat down with Rashid, the host of a popular Arabic TV show, and got some straight answers. Rashid, thanks for the invitation to visit you today Thank and you. learn more about Islam. And you host a program called Taking Off the Mask. Exactly. It airs on satellite television. People can also stream it on the web. Tell us a little bit about that. Well, it's a show that we started like a year now, mm -hmm. almost a year, and it talks about different subjects in Islam, and it's taking off the mask of Islam, exactly. All right, take off the mask for us, because I think the average American woman doesn't really understand the religion of Islam. Mm -hmm. In fact, I was watching a women's show shortly after 9-11, where the host said that Allah and Jehovah are really just the same God. <laughs> What would you say to that? Well, it looks, for the first time, it looks like if we have the same God. Uh, that happens to me when I was a Muslim and I was reading the Bible. But when you go further and you see um, some attributes to God and to Allah, you will make a big difference between the two. So Allah and Jehovah are not the same God. They are not. The Bi uh, uh, let me give you some examples. From the Bible, we can see clearly God is love. And all the facts in the Bible are based on this fact that God is love. Mm -hmm. When you go to Islam, you will not find a single verse that says God is love. Now, you grew up in the Muslim culture and became a Christian. What led you to that, and how did your family respond? Well, that, it's a big st I mean, it's a long story, right. but it started one day. I was like listening to a show in the radio, and that the first time when I heard about Jesus, and I started like a long way of correspondence courses and mm -hmm. comparing Christianity to Islam. At the end, I was like amazed. The gospel really is the truth. And Jesus is love. So that touched my heart and changed me totally. Speaking yeah. of love and the different religions, we look at Islam, Americans again, who don't necessarily understand, and we don't understand all the violence mm -hmm. that we see around this religion on sometimes the most innocuous things, like a cartoon of the, pro of the Prophet Muhammad. Mm -hmm. To us, most of our political and religious leaders will end up as a cartoon. Mm -hmm. But to see that sort of caricature of the Prophet Muhammad means what to the Islamic people? Well, we need to understand two things to understand what happened with the subject of cartoons. The first thing, there is no freedom of speech in Islam. You cannot talk about Quran or Muhammad on the fo or the followers of Muhammad. You, they are holy. Nobody can criticize them. Nobody can question them. They are above anything else. So this is the first thing. The second thing, the cartoons, they were about Muhammad. If you read the Quran, you will find clearly that Muhammad is above Allah himself. Hmm. And all the clerics, they agreed that if somebody criticizes Muhammad, or make fun of him, he should be killed. And above Allah. He's above Allah. And if you criticize, for example, if you make fun of God, not all the clerics agreed that a person should be killed. Mm -hmm. But if you do it about Muhammad, they all agree that the person should be killed. Wow. Now, one thing that I do want to make known is we're talking about the religion of Islam as opposed to the Muslim people, mm -hmm. who are wonderful people, true? Yes. A lot, of, um, so many Muslims, they are wonderful people. Mm -hmm. I still have so many friends, Muslims. All, the majority of my family members, they are still Muslims. And they are wonderful people. They are peaceful. They are loving people. But the problem is with Islam itself. The teaching of Islam, they are violent and terrorism. There is a lot of terrorism there. There is a lot of jihad verses. So the problem is not with the people, it's with what the teaching of Islam is. Let's talk about that a little bit, because we hear about the Quran, and many Americans think, well, the Quran is just another version of the Bible. That's true. <laughs> that a lot of Americans think that. Tell us. They, they, it, it looks like the same the first time, because Muhammad was go, good in copy-paste, mm -hmm. you know. He took a lot of verses from the Bible and he put them in the, the Quran. But if you go deep into the Quran, you find totally it's the opposite of the Bible. You will, you will not find God is deceiver in the Bible. Mm -hmm. You will find God is the great deceiver in the Quran. God is love in, 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 in the Bible. 
God is not love in the Quran. He loves only Muslims. He hates non-believers, non-Muslims. You will find God um, teaches us to forgive people. In Quran, he teaches us to kill the enemies of Allah. And it's totally two different directions. It's not even close. Well, that's another confusing fact. The, um, we hear that the Islamic religious leaders saying we accept other religions. We are tolerant of other religions, and then you hear things like this. What is the truth? That's true. They, they keep saying that. But they need to give us proof. Mm -hmm. What the sayings of Muhammad, what the Quran says about it. The Quran says clearly about Jews that they are sons of pigs, sons mm -hmm. of monkeys, mm -hmm. and um, uh, Christians are astray, and they are like misled. And the Muslim, when he prays like 17 times a day, he says, that the Christians and Jews are wrath and astray. He keeps repeating that 17 times a day. And you should not, you are not allowed to greet Christians and Jews according to Muhammad. And they are, th the last sayings of Muhammad when he was dying, he said, curse be upon Jews and Christians. Oh. That's his last words. Well, I'll tell you, we've only just begun to unravel this, but you are doing this all the time on a program called Taking Off the Mask. Um, you can see it on all sorts of satellite programs. You can mm -hmm. also go on the web and find out more about it. Rashid, thanks for letting us visit today. We appreciate it. Well, thank you for your visit.